I'm heartbroken by the tragic loss of Palestinian life, including the explosion at the hospital in Gaza, which was not done by the Israelis. You just heard President Biden addressing the nation, announcing he will request to Congress billions of dollars for military assistance for Ukraine and Israel. Thanks for staying up late with us tonight at 10. I'm Maria Lizagnoli. And I'm Mark McPherson. Tonight, we're talking with members from Madison's Israeli and Palestinian communities to hear their reactions to the president's announcement tonight. NBC 15's Tyler Peters talked with both and joins us now with more. Tyler. Yeah, Mark Maria, members of the Madison Jewish community feel completely supported following Biden's address. Meanwhile, Members of the Madison Palestinian community do not. Help us build a world that is safer, more peaceful, more prosperous for our children and grandchildren. President Biden addressing the nation Thursday night. The speech comes after Biden's visit to the Middle East this week, where he saw the impact the war is having on people in Israel and the Gaza Strip. The president is now sending an urgent budget request to Congress to help support Israel is a smart investment that's going to pay dividends for American security for generations. Alan Klugman, the executive director of Madison's Jewish Federation, says he is pleased with Biden's decision. Am I satisfied with the support uh, that we've gotten from our political leaders left and right from the president? 100 percent. Meanwhile, Samir El-Omari, a member of Madison's Palestinian community, says he's upset by it worried it may create more violence. We are really extremely very disappointed because uh, President Biden like showed this, um, this support to Israel. Despite differing reactions, Klugman and El Omari agree the loss of life on both sides must come to a stop. The loss of life on both sides is heartbreaking. There's, there's no other way to describe it. This administration has to push more uh, for the peace uh, negotiations, the peace process. President Biden is sending aid to both Israel and Ukraine, saying the U.S. supports both efforts. In the newsroom, Tyler Peters, NBC 15 News.